Bobby with Day After Day Gaming, here to bring a stream tonight of Earth Defense Force 4.1, The Shadow of New Despair. So I've played some before, I haven't finished all the missions and things yet. Uh, I actually primarily play on PS4, so I have a much higher level character on, on PS4 than I do here. But I figured it's a fun game. I like it. I figured might as well might as well show it off today some. Just got to find some weapons that I like though. So for anybody who hasn't seen this game before, Essentially, it is a third-person uh, shooting, kind of like third-person shooter, essentially. You control one of four different character classes. We can go through them briefly. Uh, there's a ranger who is primarily like a ground soldier. They are the only ones who have, like, rocket launchers and primarily use machine guns or shotguns. And they also can drive vehicles and summon vehicles, for that matter. You have the Wing Diver, who is the flying class. They use a bunch of laser and electrical style weapons. Also, like, plasma bombs and a few other little special things. But they also fly around the map. Uh, they're actually my favorite class. <clears throat> then you have the Air Raider. They're generally a support class. They have, like, exploding sticky bombs. They can do laser sights. They can call in airstrikes. They can drop vehicles and also drive vehicles. Only that class and the Ranger can actually drive vehicles. So if you're going to play multiplayer, it's useful to have an air raider. But solo, it's really hard to use an air raider. I've done it. It's just really tough to do, though. And then Fencer is your heavy class. They're primarily a very slow-moving uh, power armor suit class. Go around. They actually can carry four weapons and swap between the right and left weapons. So you can have, like, a, a close range and a, a sniper rifle on at the same time or have, like, a... Um, Gatling gun plus a grenade launcher. I mean, it's just lots of different combos. So they're a fun class to do. They also take a little bit of practice, though, because their weapons are so different. So, but they are heavily armored. So they do have the most armor once you get them leveled up. So they're all fun to play. But like I said, like I, said, I prefer the wing diver. So we're going to be playing with that some. And I'm just going to keep the stuff I got on me right now. So we're just going to go ahead and do some missions. I am not that far into the game on this account. But, like I said, on my uh, other version, I have actually beaten the entire game. Did we beat it here? Not quite yet. We're almost there. So we're just going to kind of jump in some missions. I just want to show kind of what the gameplay is like. We're just going to go down to uh, the next hard mission, which looks like Assault. And we're just going to do hard. Uh, generally, you don't want to do the higher level missions until you get either more health or... Uh, better guns, because it can be really hard to fight some of these higher level monsters without good equipment. And also, for anybody who hasn't seen the game, it's primarily about flying around and killing... Well, ants are the main enemy you have in the beginning. Then you branch out, you'll get spiders, you get spiders with webs, you'll get these alien dropships that drop a bunch of aliens down on you. So we're just going to be flying around killing some bugs. Kind of reminds me a little bit of like Starship Troopers. Oh, later on you also get like uh, two legged warriors who kind of fly around and. Oh, uh, not fly around, who walk around and hide behind buildings. They're actually like big, tall uh, soldiers in mech suits that are is bigger than you are. So it makes the game interesting. There's a lot of variety. Yeah, the unfortunate part right now is I don't have my favorite types of guns because I'm so early in this game, so it's going to be a little bit harder since I'm not used to these weapons anymore. The laser uh, Thunderbow is not too bad. It does pretty good damage, but 
There are a couple other ones I like better. But they're in like the 40 or 50 level range, so. It'll be a little while before we get to those. Uh, so you have a, a mini map up in the top right corner, you'll see. Primarily, it's used to show your location is always the exact middle of that map. And you'll see these green dots. The green dots are things that you've gotten when you killed enemies. So the little white packs here are kind of basic health. They're like 100 pack of health. The bigger health packs give you more health back. There's also the green thing I picked up was actually a weapon. And there's red boxes, which are armor. All of which are important for gameplay, so... So for these ships, the only weakness is the portal at the bottom. Crap. And I went to the wrong one, apparently. But you gotta shoot them in that little red area. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. So the tricky part with the wing diver is they have an energy pool, which you see on the right. It's right below the jetpack. So as you use the jetpack or some weapons, uh, some weapons hold a certain finite number of charges, and then you have to reload them. No big deal, right? Like the Thunderbow. Other weapons, like the laser, continuously fire until you either run out of energy or you can't fire it anymore because it's reloading. Now the laser doesn't actually reload, it just continues to fire so I run out of energy. But like the Thunderbow, I have three shots left, so one, two, three. Oh, hold on, chip's opening. It reloaded on me. So, go on, die, die. There we go. Chip down. Unfortunately, the ship falling on them doesn't kill them. I know, it sucks. Sorry. Some weapons also have zoom capabilities, like the sniper rifle, laser sniper rifle. You can kind of zoom in with the right click and see things and have a little bit more accuracy. Alright, let's collect some items before we go get the other ship. Forgot to set up a few th elements here, but now we're rocking. Forgot my chat window wasn't up, but it's working now. All right. So I don't have to collect all this stuff every mission if I don't want to. Now, the armor is important because it's your health bar. It's the 719 in the top left corner. Uh, each enemy does different amounts of damage to you. So the more armor, the better. The wing diver, I think, tends to be the weakest in armor, but since I've primarily been playing them up again, because I like that class best again, like I said, uh, they do have 700 armor, which is much higher than starting number. The starting number is like 75, I think. And most of my other characters are only going to have a couple hundred. I think the fencer, who has the most starting point, has 300. I don't know if I've actually leveled him up at all, so that might be his current value. Oh, red ants. So the red ants are actually like the gray ants, but harder. You'll see I'm not doing nearly as much damage to them with that gun, so they might be a little bit more troublesome. They also tend to like to pick you up and chew you to death, so not fun. Crap, I'm getting surrounded. Okay. 
and you hear that beeping, that means I'm running low on energy, so I gotta be careful. Attention all units. Danger. Danger. A new species of giant creature is headed your way. Oh no. I can't get to the transport. Oh, I got eaten. Alright, I gotta shoot them to get out of that and then try to fly out. I gotta take down that ship or I'm gonna be doomed. Doomed, I tell you! Ah, oh, crap. I'm stuck. Waiting for recharge. Very vulnerable right now. Come on, you stupid ship. Die. If I don't kill the ship, they're just going to keep pouring out, so it's important to try. Oh, I got it. Sweet. You got to kill the ship, and I got to get the heck out of there. Ooh, I'm running on energy. Go grab some bonus health here. Gonna grab big health pack. Boom! That gave us a little over 200. Alright, we're also gonna fly back over here and grab some loot. So, one thing you can kind of do once you get rid of all the big ships, if you have ships that are summoning enemies, not all levels have this, obviously. But when they do, you want to try to grab loot if you can. So with the Wing Diver, I also like her because of easily being able to fly around and grab some of these things that I may have left in other areas. So if I leave a couple of these ants alive, I can always fly around, grab some loot, and then finish off the last few guys. Yeah, like the problem with the, uh, well, with all the other characters, really, they all walk. Unless you're in a vehicle. I mean, you can get choppers. For, like, the Air Raider and the uh, Marine Infantry. Crap. Listen, we're giant killers. This is what we do. So now we have a Godzilla-style monster. You wanna let that thing run around loose? Then let's put him down. Yeah, we can't kill it right now. If we don't stop it here and now, more towns will pay the price. Soldiers, bring down that giant. Oh, crap. Oh, yeah, I'm in trouble. Get me out of there. Get me out of there. Ah, crap. Stupid bug. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa there. Oh shit. Yeah, that was poor. Be done. Yeah. Yep. Yep, totally just got knocked out by him. So that went very poorly. I couldn't get out of the uh, mission fast enough. Or I mean out of the way of the big guys, so unfortunately. That hurt just a bit, so. Take two. Unfortunately, when you fail a mission like that, you don't get any rewards, so. Kinda sucks. Ranger 
team. Move forward and exterminate the enemy. All right, move! It's our turn, gentlemen. Yes, sir! And we're off with more bugs. Come here, stupid ant. All right, now we got our spiders in here. To do, to do, to do, kill the spiders! This is Fencer 1. We are heavily outnumbered. Where's our backup? Crap, there are a lot of spiders. Nobody's dying on our watch. Come on, come on, open up. Time to get you. Get you killed. There we go. Try to get over there quick if we can. Oh, lots of guys. So many enemies. Can't really get over there right now. All right, got it. And it's coming here now? Great. Attention all units. Danger, danger. A new species of giant creature is headed your way. Just take out that transport. If it's on their side, shoot it. It's us or them. Simple as that. Commander, I just let you die. Yeah, yeah, this is what you do. Let's get him this time. Holy crap, he almost hit me again. I was just trying to get some armor and stuff. Jeez. Even hurting it. No matter 
how big he is. We can wear him down if we keep on shooting. Not really. Grab some more armor while he's fighting. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, he staggered him. It's not going to kill him, though. Like them apples in the face. Yeah, it's kind of a plot hole at this point. You can't actually kill them yet. Later in the game, you can actually kill these guys with regular weapons, but right now we're just kind of surviving until they talk us to death. You can hit him in the face, or you can hit him in the chest area, and that kind of staggers him after a few hits. How could anything possibly stand up to this much firepower? Like that, I just staggered him. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Woo! Yeah, it's not scary at all when a big giant dinosaur is heading right towards you. Not scary at all. Alright, let's go look, see if there's anything else to collect that we didn't get yet. Most of the stuff that I tend not to grab is just health. There's an armor, though. We'll grab that. Health, health, health. Erginus. Yeah, it looked like mostly health left. So we're good. We are done with that mission. Much better when I don't, you know, walk right into things. All right, got a couple new weapons. So when you finish the mission, you'll get items. Uh, it may not be items just for you. Sometimes it's stuff for other character classes, but primarily you're getting stuff just for yourself. So I got a new laser weapon. If I want to use it, it was a laser 200, I think. Oh, it's a mid-range laser. 201 right there. Oh, I do have a level 40 weapon. That's what that one does. Damage of 12, range of 120. Yeah, I kind of like the sniper one that I'm using now. It's only damage of 8, but its range is 600. So I can hit a lot further away with it. So I kind of like that. There's a gun that I like that's called the... I think it's the Dino Strike. I do like one of them, but not this one, I want to say. But you know what? We're going to put it on in place of Thunderbow. I don't think that's the particular one that I like, but I do like the Dino Strike. It's short range, but it's cool for uh, attacking stuff. So we're going to hit hit him back with that.
so you don't only have ground mission or sorry ground enemies to worry about you also have some air enemies like these guys Hmm, this one fires really waste a lot of ammo. This one I do not like, so no, do not like that Dynastrike. Yeah, if I'm a commander, follow me then. Yeah, you will. Crap, doing terrible in this one. Got the wrong weapons for this mission. Finally killed one. Damn. Oh, ran out by accident. Oh well. Gotta wait for recharge. Get some health. Woohoo, number two down. Another one? Come on. Oh. The loot kind of fell farther away. That was weird. So the company has made a bunch of these games over the years, Earth Defense Force. The old ones didn't play anything like this originally, but then they started making them all like this since, I want to say, they, I don't remember, PS3, I think, had one of these, I think. But the latest one, I forget what the name of it is, it's actually only on PS4. They didn't release it for PC, at least last time I saw they hadn't released it yet for PC. So the Earth Defense 5 that I play on PS4, and there's another Earth Defense came out after that, or only on PS4 as far as I know. Um, they're, they're not bad. I like them. I did play a lot of this one, though, on PS4 before uh, the PC version came out. 
So I don't know if like the Earth Defense Force 5 or the... Uh, I just can't remember the name of the other one. If the other new one they released almost at the same time like about a year ago. Uh, if they're going to release those on PC or not. I haven't looked for them, so they may already be out. I don't know for sure. But I have not been looking for them, so... Right, which one did I have on? I had on Electroshock Midrange. I had on Thunderbow. Actually, I could take the 20. It does more damage. I had the 15 one on before. Let's try the 20 out. Let's try Thunderbow 20. So I guess we should start back at the beginning. Show some of the early missions. Let's see if we can do a hardest one too. Don't know if I have enough health and stuff to do a hardest one, but this is like the first mission here I'm going to show you now. It's very simple. All you do is go in and kill some spiders. So let's do it. The other big thing to know about this game, if you're going to play, you can hit civilians and kill them. It doesn't really give you a negative necessarily, but if you're using explosive weapons, like, and the soldiers too, you can hit your own soldiers. If you're using something like rocket launchers, so if you're using their infantry class, the soldier class, you hit somebody in front of you because of the AOE of the rockets, you're going to hurt yourself. So something to keep in mind when you start playing the game. Be very careful of civilians if you're playing a rocket class at all. The first level they give you here is pretty fun, though. Although, you know, if you're starting at level 1, start out on easy or normal. You don't want to play a lot of these on anything harder. Just for the first few rounds. you got to get some weapons, build up some equipment. So if it's your very first time playing you never played before, I would suggest easy. Just so you can get used to how the game moves and works. And if you're not playing this class, you're going to be moving a lot slower, so take that into account, too. Oh, they got me. Bad bugs. Recharge. Where are you shooting at? Sometimes the bugs like to hide, so it can be difficult to hit them. Burn them all down with my lasers. Take 
So in case you hadn't noticed, there are several difficulties in the game. Uh, you can play on easy, you can play on normal, you can play on hard, and then hardest, and then inferno is the toughest difficulty. There are also a couple of expansions for the game. Uh, essentially, they give you more missions to play. It's not all that many missions. Like 20, maybe? I can't remember now. But at least you do get some extra content, and they give you harder monsters, so they actually increase the difficulty of all the creatures. So, like, they have gold-plated ants that are harder. They have uh, silver spiders that are harder, too. And some different flying enemies that are more difficult as well, so. They're definitely harder modes. Uh, I don't think I actually have those expansions on PC, but from... As I said, I played a lot on PS4, so... On that version, we have uh, quite a bit of... Content, because we played... I played that one a lot. I played that one co-op, too. You can do full split-screen on PS4. So... My co-host Kat and I play uh, this game on PS4 a lot, so maybe once we get the PS4 stuff all straightened out for Kings for streaming on the PS4, uh, we could stream this some too. It'd be fun showing you off how the couch co-op in that game works. So this mission is all about fighting the overwhelming odds here and prevailing on harder difficulties. Like I'm on hardest, so the fourth hardest difficulty right now on level one. Uh, it's it's pretty hard to win. Apparently, I have already done it on PC at least once, but uh, it requires a lot of like running away. So I kind of stand up there a little bit, and then because I'm a fast-moving character, I'll run backwards and kind of kite them around as much as I can. Then you just have to control your movement along with uh, the movement of the monsters because they can kind of move fast. So you have to take all that into account. Eventually, once they kill all of your soldiers and tanks and things down there, they'll start gunning after you because you're the only thing left alive. So you are not safe. So just watch the red on the map, and when you get down to only having a handful left, like five, maybe? Three to five, whatever you're comfortable with. That's your turn to go collect stuff, so. And of course, you also have to be careful. If there are a lot of soldiers left alive, if you take out too many of them, you won't get any of the rewards because they'll kill them all before you can get to any of the stuff you want. So I like to go for the red and green. I pretty much avoid everything else because who cares? I want extra health. I want weapons. So I try to go for that first when available. Then you have that problem occasionally where somebody wants to munch on you. Mm. You must taste delicious. But anyway, collect as much of that stuff as you can. Because it is very important to progress in the game by collecting items. Alright, looks like it's pretty much everything that I want. Most of the rest of the stuff looks like health. So let's go and finish off the last ant. He dropped another armor. That's right. Oh, I killed a soldier. Oh, well. He'll be okay. So, as you can see, I got some weapons which are actually higher than some of the other ones you may have seen that I got in the higher missions. So, as you play higher difficulties, you'll unlock higher level equipment. Okay? So, pretty easy. There is a caveat, though. There is a max to the equipment you can get on, like, level 1. 
So not not that I'm really where I can quite fight this one in Inferno yet. But if I was able to do it in Inferno, I think the max I'd get is maybe high 50s. Low 50s, somewhere around there. So it's not like... And, and the weapons go up to 100. Or actually, they go over 100, I believe, now. But essentially, if you think of it like a 100-point scale, uh, the first level, the highest you're going to get is around like 50 to 60, I want to say. And... I don't know if I have it unlocked yet. Yeah, I think Star Eaters might be one of the last ones. There are a few more after that, actually. We're not quite done yet. I think it's 90. The one after this one has uh, some different stuff in it. Some enemies that you can fight, and if you're fighting on higher level difficulties, like um, Inferno, for example, if you get killed on Inferno, you don't get any weapons for finishing the mission if you retreat. Whereas if you're playing on like easy or normal and you die, whatever mission, whatever items you picked up while you're playing, you get a key. So there's one mission in particular. You fight a bunch of big giant robots. I think I want to say it's around between 90 and 93 somewhere but if you play that one on hardest difficulty i can't win on ps4 just trust me i don't have the equipment i don't have the health i cannot win the match i'm not trying to win it but i can play it on the hardest difficulty you get a bunch of drops you get to keep 25 percent i believe it's 25 percent of the loot that drops for guns so you can pick up you know 10 guns you'll get two out of it at the end of the match. At least you get something. So you have a chance to get equipment that you can use when you play it that way. So at least that's pretty nice. Maybe we'll play Stargers. Let me show you a more advanced level. That might be the last one, actually. I don't remember. I thought there was more. All right, let's go to it might be this one, actually. This one might be the one I was thinking of. So let's play this one on hard, just to kind of show you a higher level mission and how it might work. This one will be fighting a bunch of big guys, so. EDF! Yeah, take him. Uh oh, what do we got?
We got something coming in, but I can't see what it is yet. They're too far away, so. So much going on, I can't see anything ridiculous. Like a rock. Giant insects have entered the combat zone. Of course they have. I'm trying. Settle down. Crap. I just took a big old hit. Shoot the giant insects off the bombs. Don't worry about friendly fire. Their armor's tough. You won't damage it. Ah, crap. Well, that was dumb. Tough, though. So let's restart that. It did poorly. So now I know kind of where the bug's coming from. I know where to go. Didn't exactly know what I remember what I was doing last time. So I screwed it up. Charge! Charge! Uh, that's my cue. I've got five. 
I'm taking damage too. Shush. Shut your mouth. Can die. Oh well. I'm going to try to circle around. Hopefully I can reach him. I think we got most of the ants killed, hopefully. Try to grab a little bit of loot while they're busy here. Well, that's not a good thing if every single one of the big guys headed our way. We've already lost like half our forces. There's a box right there I want. That sucks. Oh, there it goes. Falling disappeared. Operation immediately. 
I'm trying to get the bugs off of you. Settle down. You're making it so much more difficult than it needs to be. Out of energy. All right, they come from this way. Don't worry, you won't damage the belongs. I'm working on things. But I don't see the Oh, they're there. They're ground ones this time. They're not air ones. You think it's gone? Wouldn't you know if it's gone? Oh crap, a red one. Yeah, probably so. That must be the species full grown form. I imagine it grew up here on Earth. Not even ravagers could wrangle anything that large. No oh, knows. You might say. Not the pinnacle of evolution. We got knocked the fuck out. I probably shouldn't be tempting fate by shooting him. Look at all these beautiful weapons. I'll just try to grab the weapons real quick. Don't want to wait, leave them behind. Not that I think I'll necessarily have any nice upgrades, but you know. You can't get upgrades if you don't pick up the equipment, right? So, better off to pick them up. 
All right, let's get in here. Robot battle. Now I feel like I'm in robot jocks. Let's do this. I'll get there in another 10 years. Oh, he just got fucked up. I was just going to punch him. Punch him till he goes down. Oh, he moved. He's always so much faster. The hell is he firing at? I'll make it there soon. Another couple years, maybe. So slow! It's make me fall asleep just trying to get to the guy. Because every time I get close, he just jumps back. This is long before. Help me! No. Oh, yeah, we got him up against the wall now. What? I'm stuck up against the border of the map, so... Yeah, we got him. Oh, I didn't see any loot. Oh, we did get a few upgrades here, though. That's nice. Nothing that I see that's like, Yay, I got it! But upgrades are still upgrades. All right, we're sitting a little bit over an hour. That might be a decent stopping place for the game today. So, 
for anybody interested, you know this is Earth Defense 4.1, A New Despair. There are 89 levels. Yeah, it looks like 89 levels you can play, four different classes, five different difficulties, lots and lots of weapons. So you definitely won't, you know, definitely get a lot of content out of it. And then, of course, there's the expansions. I don't think I have those, but let's go double check here. No, I don't have them yet. But if you go into mission mode and you see other options past the first player, it'll bring up another menu with different things you can do. So you will have more content if you go buy the two expansions. Uh, and, you know, if you like this game, if you have PlayStation 4, I actually prefer the controls on the controller versus the mouse and keyboard. Just for me, it's easier. But, uh... There's the full line of the game on PS4. There's also the Earth Defense Force 5. It does have some innate differences in the game. The things are summoned differently. You don't have the spaceships quite the same way. Yet. And you have these summon towers that are slightly different. But that's a whole different type of game. Also very fun to play. And then there was the other Earth Defense Force that came out as well right after that. I just can't remember the name off the top of my head of that one. But uh, there's plenty of content on PS4 to play if you prefer consoles. So you're not limited to PC for this game, which is great. <clears throat> and on the PS4, it does allow you to play couch co-op, which, you know, there aren't a lot of games that actually do that anymore. So if you're looking for any couch co-op experiences, this one would definitely be on the top of the game list for that. Other than that, uh, this is Bobby with Day After Day Gaming. Thanks for watching. For anybody who did join the stream today... Uh, we'll be posting this up on YouTube, and, you know, I'm, I'm still going forward with trying to do a game every day on in January, so I hope to do a board game in the next day or two. Possibly tomorrow. Might have to wait till Thursday. Uh, not sure what I'm going to play yet. I might continue with some of my Gloomhaven solo streaming. I um, might try a new game. I do have Chronicle X that we did an unboxing for. I think we did an unboxing for that one. It was a Kickstarter game that I want to play at some point. Uh, also, got Mice and Mystics in. Could check that out. We also have Stuffed Fables, uh, all of which are kind of cooperative adventure games. So maybe we'll check one of those out. I don't know yet. We will see. But other than that, again, this is Bobby with Day After Day Gaming. Keep on gaming day after day. Have a wonderful rest of your evening.